what are you doing here? Like Loving my neighbor by telling them the truth. Because the Bible says Jesus is truth and the, and the truth will set you free from the burden of sin. So it's why all, not go to some place where people are actually hurting others? Um, people do this. They're hurting people here. How? Hurting children. Telling a child to cut off the general base of a feeling. First of all, what does that matter? It you does are matter. who you are. What does that matter, though? Because you sin. Everything is a sin, though. Exactly. Mismeshing fabric so is a sin. You're sin. Your sin. Right your sin separates you we're from God. Right now. Um, at the end of the day, this is God's love and righteousness upon us. This event is His proof of creating us to love one another, no matter what gender we are, no matter what sexuality we are. In fact, Jesus would be leading the pride parade today if he was here and if you disagree with that that is completely up to you but please respect our space thank you so jesus would not be leading that but the bible says that this is not an act of god's approval but this is an act of god's judgment because he says he is giving you over to your viral affections Not so much of that actual asking, sin. Is he saying, "Oh, you're gay. You're not. You're not going here. You're not going there." Well, it's not so much the act that actual sin specifically, but what it is, it's the unbelief in the so Jesus Christ. Someone's gay. They can't no, get No, listen to me, sweetheart. It's the unbelief in the Jesus Christ. That's what sends you to hell. Calling them sweetheart. It's not so much. It's not. It's not so much of the. It's not so much of the action that you do. It's not just that, but it's really the unbelief. It's you not believing in Jesus. It's you not having a relationship asking, with him. But I'm asking. He does. But I'm asking. Just no, because but, someone is gay. Mm -hmm. Just because I like this, that, whatever, X, Y, Z. That means that's going to determine if I go up or down. It's what's going to determine if that you is, do. I'm asking. Yes or no? Is that yeah. going to determine if I'm going up or down? Right. Yes, it will. But, okay, yeah, it does. But, okay, but hear me out. Go ahead. Nigga, you got rapists, you got mm -hmm. murderers, you got kidnappers, For sure. you got fucking serial, you got every fucking thing on the planet. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we have all you sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Be like, okay, well, I have, I got that shit, but push that to the side because this motherfucker like bitches. This motherfucker the Bible like girls. says this... everyone sins and we're all falling short of the glory of God. It Nobody deserves. It does make sense. Can it I explain doesn't. it to you in the way that it does? Go ahead, and I'm listening. All right, so whenever God created this world, he created man and woman in his image. Adam and Eve. Okay, right? And he wants to have a relationship with them. That's who God is. He wants to have a relationship with you because he created you. Okay? And he and on the way to him to have an actual relationship with you, you got to have a free will and a, and a choice to choose if you want to have a relationship with him back. Right? Okay. All right. He said, if you eat from this tree and the knowledge of good and evil, okay. he says, in this, you will die. Because okay. you start to, you choose that you don't want to have a relationship with me. And they chose just that. They chose not to have a relationship with God. And therefore, because of that sin, sin is coming through the world. And it caused all of us to sin. It caused all of us to die. It causes all of us to have our heart issues, what the scripture tells us. But because of who God is, God says, because I love you and because I created you in my image. He says, I will come down and pay your payment for you. Though your payment for the sins that you committed against God, for the crimes that you committed against God, for your own personal sins. He said, you deserve death and hell, but because of who he is, he says, I have no pleasure in that happening to you. So what did he do? Jesus Christ came. He took your place of punishment. He paid your fine in full. He says, instead of you going to hell, I will take the punishment from God myself on your behalf, dying, being buried and rising again from the grave, giving everybody the opportunity, just like Adam and Eve had, to either choose God, and you do that by turning from your unbelief and placing your trust and faith in Jesus Christ. In the moment that you do that, God says, I will save you. It's not a matter of you trying to put on your Sunday's best or stop trying to be gay or stop trying to lie or stop trying to do all these things in order for God to love you. No, God loves you because it's who God is. I'm sorry for spitting on you. Which it's God in his God? nature. The God of the Bible. Because there are so, thousands of God. But a lot of people think you got to be a good person to get to God. And the Bible says none of us are good. We have all fallen short. None of us are. So you were right when you said the liar, the rapist, the pedophile, whatever sin. The Bible says it condemns all of us. But he says because I made every single last one of us, or one of you guys in my image, and because of who I am, I don't want you to die in your sins. So this is why he continues to preach that gospel message. This is why Jesus Christ is coming in this world. And there's a lot of historical facts for Jesus walking this earth. There's more. There's a lot of history before the Bible. Have you read? I don't know. I'm saying. Have you Go read ahead. history? 
Yes, I have. Hold on. Have you read history from a secular perspective? Yes, I have. Okay. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. You know what so, he wants. So this is the thing. There's a, so we as Christian, the Bible says this. The Bible says this. If Jesus wasn't risen from the grave, Christianity would be a flop. Oh, my God. Whoa. So, but what happens so to God more, accepts you for who you are and how you come? True. He you. says, accept you for who you are, but you do not. Take you for who I am. Yeah, but he doesn't. But he doesn't keep you. But he doesn't. But he doesn't. But he doesn't keep you the way that you are. It does matter. It does matter. Because the God says the truth. How you know? How you know? How you gonna know? You you would know before that. How you gonna know? You would know before that. But when you're dead, how you gonna know? Because what you begins to happen, you, you do matter. know. You I do know. Why you go to no, before, be, yeah, it does. It does when matter because this is how you know you have a relationship with God. Honey, you love this. Do you can know I, you're sitting right now? Can I, can I explain myself? You have one different fabric. When you you're love sitting. the you things of God, because the Bible says that God is the one who does you're a thing in your sin. heart. He says you will love the things of him and you will hate the things that he hates. Honey. You will love righteousness. You will love, Honey, you will love the things that he loves is what the scripture tells us. You will have a love for him. You're a walking sin. And you will love you're those around sin. us. Can you stop ignoring her, though? You're a walking sin. No, I'm just, I'm just you explaining to her. You're a walking sin. You're wearing sin. gold and you're wearing... I'm not analyzing anything. You're a walking sin. You do. You literally... You have tattoos. You do. You're, you're true. You're mismatching um, fabrics. For you're sure. a walking sin. True. So but the, who the fuck Jesus you saved me, though. To tell... Jesus... Okay, and so Jesus can Jesus save me? Because he didn't keep me in my sin, is what the Bible but says. But if I go to church and I... Do what I gotta do. Why a, isn't Jesus saving me? A lot of people go I'm to gay? church. A lot of people. I like what the fuck I like. A lot of people go to church, and there's a lot of people who go to church who will go to hell because the Bible says Jesus said, that makes and that sense. it does. Because I'm gonna explain it real quick. Jesus said, in that day, many will come to me saying, Lord, Lord, haven't we done all these things in your name? Haven't we he prayed? Oh, this is what the scripture said. He can I, in your ear and told can you I show you? He whispered in your ear and told no, you that? I'll show you in the Bible. You don't have to show me anything. I'll show you too. I don't need to see it. I know. Well, I mean, I get all of my information. I, I get all I'm of saying. my facts he from this. Say it says not. Bible. He and says, he says not. Day. Everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, should enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who's in heaven. What's the will of his Father? Day. It's for okay. everyone to come to faith in His Son Jesus Christ, okay. and He'll save you. And like I said, Jesus takes his people as you come and as you, as you are and he cleans you and he okay. makes you new okay. so, I, so he can form you to the image of his son but a lot real, of people go to church, church but they a lot of them single Sunday. i was raised in a christian household a lot of I people are every single time i'll go grab my fucking cousin he's the gayest motherfucker out here for sure and he still go to church every fucking sunday uh, that don't fucking define you so therefore a lot of people go to your church shit, Stupid as fuck. But if there's no, if the Bible says this, you're right? The Bible says this. In order to end in the kingdom of heaven, you gotta be born again. You're just stupid as fuck. That's that's okay. You can you can believe that. Go ahead. Why not try to convert people who are actually hurting other people instead of coming to a place like this? Um, because these are people filled with hurt people, just like myself. No, 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 no. And people who are broken and people who are sinners. And you call her sweetheart, which is incredibly misogynistic. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So why not go to some place where people are actually hurting others? Um, people do this. They're hurting people here. How? Hurting children. Telling a child to cut off the general base of a feeling. First of all, you don't know any of the actual information about any of that. I know that if you Who tell a child... Who the children? I Priests. know. There are yeah. way more children hurt and in the church than there are... With there's, a lot of, there's, a, a lot of hurt, there's a lot of hurt kids a lot of places. And, um, what is God's first commandment? God should not have no other gods before me. It's to love one another as... You love yourself. That's not his first commandment. His first commandment, if you want to go into the New Testament, is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love your neighbors as okay. Jesus has loved the church, is what the scripture tells us. It's not so much as loving yourself. It was that, but then Jesus went a step further. He says, that I, as I have loved the church. And what did Jesus do for the church? He gave his life for the church. He gave his life for people like you and me. Okay, you've Go spoken ahead. for a while. Um, I, I heard a about bit. you saying, Jesus saying, loving your neighbor. Mm -hmm. Is that one of his greatest commandments? It's so a it's loving your neighbor. Number two. Okay. Oh, oh, oh sorry. I forgot. <laughs> it must not be as, not as important since it's number two, but Jesus said it, so. Not before but, God, but yeah. Oh, oh, okay. My bad. Okay, I was just confused then because... What are you doing here? Like Loving my neighbor by telling them the truth. Because the Bible says Jesus is truth and the, and the truth will set you free from the burden of sin. Okay. Um, 
I was just wondering also, like, a time where Jesus came to an event where people were all together and, like, there was an event that he went to and he, he was kind of doing something where he protested at that event. Do you remember what that was? What, what do you mean protesting? Well, it was actually when the tax collectors were um, collecting all of the people all of their taxes and he went in because they were doing it in the house of God and he overturned right, the that was, tax tables. All right, so that wasn't tax that wasn't tax collecting, but that was people um, it was people turning God's house into a business because what they were doing, they were selling offerings to the poor people so that because he did it, they did it in the temple and so they can so they can make a money offering or they can take the money from these poor people by selling them something that, that Jesus said that this is a house of prayer. This yeah. is not a business. So he came in there upset because he says, you're turning my father's house into, uh, into a business. And this is not what it's meant for. This is a house of prayer where people can come and worship God for who he is. That's what the scriptures tells us. So go ahead. So I would, by that logic, think that a house of prayer should be held in the highest regard. Amen. And I also remember that Jesus and also Paul, formerly Saul, mm -hmm. talked about people who would wear the Old Testament on their foreheads, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, who would cry and gnash their teeth on the street corners mm -hmm. instead of showing their prayer and worship in private. For sure. I'm not praying, nor I am worshiping by just who I am because every day is my life. It's not so much just an act, but it's, a, it's, it's your lifestyle. It's a life of worship. And what true worship is, is to walk humbly with the Father and love the things that the Father loves, to love righteousness. And this is righteousness. This is the things that the Father wants because he commands all men to repent. And he says, how, he says, how can somebody come to faith unless somebody is sent to them, unless a preacher is sent to them? How can somebody understand the words of God unless somebody is sent to them? This is how God demonstrates his love. He says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Um, at the end of the day, this is God's love and righteousness upon us. This event is his proof of creating us to love one another, no matter what gender we are, no matter what sexuality we are. In fact, Jesus would be leading the pride parade today if he was here. And if you disagree with that, that is completely up to you. But please respect our space thank you so jesus would not be leading that but the bible says that this is not an act of god's approval but this is an act of god's judgment because he says he has given you over to your vile affections where women will leave the natural use of a woman and loving instead of loving our husbands they will love other women and men will use a, they will have an affection and they will have a burning and a lust for other men because they, 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 they love their sin too much and that's exactly what it is but it's not just that specific sin but it's also lying and stealing and blaspheming and the Bible says the reason why you're giving over that is because you chose the things of this world rather than the things of God because you love your sin too much and that's why you are able to have all this stuff but the Bible says at the end of the day you either are breath away for being with God if you have a relationship with God and being with him in eternal heaven, will you be given a glorified body or you're either a breath away and to enter into everlasting contempt where you'll be burning for the rest of your life for all eternity. And God says, I don't want that to happen.